Welcome to this uh, lecture about uh, mushrooms in nature, our helpers. Did you know that the mussels are uh, uh, mushrooms? I mean, the mushrooms are uh, helping us. Why are the uh, uh, the mesetes uh, and the, the fungi important? Today it is uh, plus degrees again. Now it's 5.2. Degrees outside, it has been the first uh, days of a uh, little bit of snow and a little bit of rain and such. So the, the winter is coming. <clears throat> the uh, fungi uh, is uh, compromising our own uh, kingdom. So uh, they are the uh, organisms uh, that is eukaryote uh, uh, organisms that has a cell win with the uh, nucleus inside in the cell with the, which is embedded in a membrane uh, com uh, compared to other types of uh, more primitive cells. Uh, so the, the uh, eukaryote organisms and the fungi is then uh, supposed to include uh, uh, microorganisms as yeast and um, there was something wrong here. Uh, uh, yeast and molds uh, that are family uh, uh, as well as other family uh, mushrooms. Uh, the fungi is estimated to be a lot of species. They have uh, estimated it to be something like 2.2 million up to 3.8 million species in different species. Of course, uh, this is estimated. Uh, there is not known that much uh, species yet, but uh, every year new species is uh, found uh, due to the uh, genetic analysis and such. The fungi is uh, quite old. Uh, they, they, it's uh, found that uh, they have been uh, detected from uh, sediment or the fossils uh, types about uh, uh, two point. Uh, uh, 2 billion years ago, 2.4 billion years ago. It is regarded to be 10 groups of uh, fungi. And uh, two of these fungi groups are what we call uh, mushrooms. The number of uh, known mushrooms is uh, something like 14,000. So not that much compared to this. <clears throat> Uh, there is a worksheet uh, as well uh, for this uh, lecture, if you like, so you can follow the worksheet, or if you have prepared with the worksheet, you can uh, we can go through this in the end of the lecture. But uh, in Europe, we have uh, a few uh, thousands of uh, the species of uh, mushrooms. This is one type of uh, fungi. This is the rust fungi, which is making this small brown dots on the other side uh, on the underside of the leaves you can see on this you see the yellow orange thing there that is the spores from this rust so this is one of the type of uh, 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 fungi this is not a mushroom and these uh, spores will not uh, develop into a type of a, 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 a mushroom they are just these microspores systems. Uh, lichens as well is uh, indeed a, uh, a symbiosis between a fungi and a blue-green algae or a bacteria. Uh, so here you can see two different uh, species of lichens, the gray one and the, uh, the, the yellow uh, branch uh, lichens. It's quite common in all Europe. Mushrooms, uh, that's the part of the, the body of the, uh, the fungi, uh, which is uh, being the spore house, so to say, the, 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 the hat of the, of the uh, fungi. This is the part which is uh, coming up from ground. Underground, there is a, a lot of mycelium, which is then uh, uh, small, tiny, looking like a hair, uh, a filament, uh, which is uh, then uh, uh, making a 
like a spider's network into the uh, soil, especially the organic soils. And then uh, this is uh, then uh, producing uh, uh, this uh, uh, this uh, hat when uh, they are deciding to make a uh, fruitification or uh, they are like uh, starting to want to start making their spores. <clears throat> Um, mushroom is uh, uh, divided into the steep, uh, the stem, the cap. Which is that thing here, and you can see these things here. That is this, uh, what we call gills or lamella. So there is a big variety of uh, how these are looking, big, uh, small, and all such. So then the different uh, mushrooms have different type of uh, names, like these you see here, bolet, uh, puffball, stickhorn, morel, and uh, uh, agaric. So aragic, aragic is uh, often the common name in English-speaking uh, world about uh, the the, the typical uh, uh, mushroom. <clears throat> so here you see the mycelium, and here you see the stipe, and here's the pillars, the hat, and under the pillars, uh, pillars is uh, the, the lamella or the gills. Uh, one such part of the mycel is named a hyphe, and here you can see the, uh, the cells of the hyph with a nucleus inside. I just uh, tried to illustrate it. Uh, what is uh, very interesting is uh, that uh, this type of uh, uh, cells is uh, growing in all directions. <clears throat> it's not only growing in one part of it, the, the meeting part or something, but all parts so they can elongate, uh, stretch very, very much. And also, they have a fantastic uh, 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 mechanism of, of absorbing the, uh, the water uh, and moisture from soil, so they can really swell, and that is making the expansion of the uh, body of the fungus, the mycelium, in the, in the ground. So uh, a little bit about uh, the, the, uh, how to divide the different species and groups of uh, uh, mushrooms. Uh, they are divided if they have these gills underneath. Some is having pores, just like small uh, uh, openings, uh, small holes. And some is uh, having uh, like ridges, and some have uh, like uh, teeth or nails underneath the uh, the, the peelers. The different type of uh, gills uh, can be uh, like here. You see the different type of the these uh, gills, uh, which is the uh, the most uh, common way to divide uh, these uh, uh, agaric uh, species. And then as well, then you have the the shape itself of the of the of the mushroom. How it is uh, looking, conial, uh, convex, uh, depressed, uh, flat, or uh, different type of, uh, uh, of uh, shapes. And also the, the uh, mushrooms is a changing uh, shape uh, during the growth. Uh, so it can come up like a ball, and then it can uh, flatten out, and then it can be uh, actually uh, uh, depressed, for example, uh, um, uh, umbilicated or something. So they can change uh, a little bit depending on the age of the, of the mushroom. Uh, so many species like this uh, uh, fly uh, agaric or uh, the fly mushroom, it's uh, coming up uh, within a few uh, few days and becoming uh, old and uh, start to, to disintegrate. 
Uh, other species can lo live, live uh, for a very long, uh, much longer uh, period with their uh, 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 fruit body above the ground. But uh, they are uh, the phenomena of this uh, 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 mushrooming uh, or uh, popping up like a mushroom is that the mushroom is uh, developing under the ground and like I said it is uh, taking the uh, water and then it is starting suddenly to, to uh, expand the uh, different cells and they are not only growing, uh, this part of the mushroom is not only growing by number of cell divisions, but also that the cells is expanding. You see this uh, point? So therefore they can grow very quickly. Uh, this uh, uh, thing here, this uh, some pinion, is uh, actually the only mushroom that you can eat raw. So you can use it in the in the different type of uh, salads and what such, uh, but mostly you should, uh, boil, of course, boil it as well uh, when it gets a little bit older than these ones. When they are uh, young like this, uh, that is the only one that we can eat. The other ones, all other mushrooms need to be treated by some type of heat, fried or boiled or conserved. This is the most uh, popular and mo most cultivated uh, species in the world. And also they grow very fast, so they need to be collected uh, uh, every day in the mushroom farms. You need to collect every day for to have good quality of the mushroom, especially like this, uh, this uh, champignon. Not all the mushroom is uh, expanding totally fully. Uh, for example, this uh, species here that's uh, uh, looking like a, a, a vase. So it's a big mushroom that uh, can live for many years, where uh, the, the hat or the top of the, this mushroom is visible for a very long, uh, long period. Uh, uh, and this uh, is a well-tasting uh, uh, mushroom, uh, and therefore it is uh, collected by human. And since it's growing so very uh, uh, slowly, it is uh, critically endangered. It's growing in the part of uh, the Asia, with a few places uh, in uh, Eastern Europe. And then we have uh, this uh, other type of uh, mushrooms uh, that can be uh, like the honey mushrooms. So this is one of the honey mushrooms. They are uh, can be extremely old. We have one colony of this uh, uh, Armillaria uh, from uh, from U United uh, United States. It is more than 2,400 years old. Much possibly, it's much older because aging of a mushroom is uh, very difficult. And actually, it's one individual, which is nearly nine square kilometer big. So the mycelium in the ground is uh, about nine square kilometer, but it is infecting the roots uh, and the rottening of trees. So it's uh, uh, partly parasitic and partly uh, saprophytic. Uh, I will tell about this breaking down uh, the, uh, the, the, the trees, the biological material. And so what is actually uh, in the forest, when we see the, like the fly mushroom, the uh, fly ag agaris, these uh, uh, mushrooms have one mycel, and then there is another uh, 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 individual, which is have another mycel crossing and then several different mycelium is crossing and meeting under the uh, the soil with the same individual and then one of them is popping up one hat or two hats or three hats and then uh, there's a big colony of these inside in the soil and uh, some of uh, like the, this uh, most of the mushrooms we have in the, the forest like the uh, the fly agaris is something like uh, 10 square to 20 square uh, meters. 
but some of them can even be much bigger and some of the species is very huge. Uh, I mentioned uh, saprophytic uh, mushrooms and fungi. Yeah. Saprophytic uh, mushrooms are decomposers. They, uh, they are breaking down uh, the, the, the material of the tree, uh, uh, for example, from leaves, uh, from everything. Uh, they are uh, returning uh, the organic material into new ma material. Uh, these uh, saprophytic uh, 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 mushrooms release acids and enzymes that break down the dead tissue from other uh, organisms into smaller molecules uh, that the mushroom can uh, absorb, like the honey mushrooms. So this uh, uh, the mushroom can be very effective. Here you see some mycelium inside in a bark, uh, inside the bark of a tree. This white thing here, this is the mycelium starting to break down the and your uh, material. And then here you see one species, another species, a third species, and a fourth species of uh, of uh, mushrooms that is uh, decomposed. This is saprophytes. This is um, breaking down the the piece of wood in my firewood stack. It was it became too wet in the summer, therefore this was starting. Here you see different species. This is other type of fungus. This is not the mushrooms, but they are making a very quick decomposing. Uh, this is a species I don't know what. So they have a lot of different uh, specialities. Here you see a piece of bark, and here is the, the piece of the bark taken away. And if you look very careful, you can see the black resins, the black uh, uh, type of uh, hyphae, uh, and the, which is uh, making like uh, small black threads coming from this uh, mushroom. So it does not always need to be white. Here is another type of uh, uh, mushroom, which is uh, saprophytic. And actually, this is a fifth uh, pattern uh, of uh, uh, spore uh, spreading. So this is uh, uh, spreading the, the spores uh, from small bulbs, not like teeth uh, or spikes or such, but like spores. Very beautiful, isn't it? It's very hard, stiff, it's just like the air. So touching the air, it feels like touching this muscle, mushroom. The, this is a, a saprophytic breakdown from uh, this same species. Here you see the, the tree is, uh, going to, is going into decay in very, very quickly. Here's another uh, small uh, uh, type of mushroom, which is a, a, a type of a, a coral uh, fungi. And some can look like this. Uh, this looks like a pile of uh, uh, moose shit. And here we have another type of this uh, uh, saprophytic uh, 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 mushrooms. Uh, this is very hard. Uh, this is red uh, uh, lingen uh, mushroom. Uh, it's very confined with this red uh, 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 line. So that's last year, and this is uh, this uh, this year's uh, production growth. They can grow several years, or they can grow only a few years. So this uh, fungus uh, is uh, another species. This is uh, actually uh, uh, what we use to make uh, fire. So you can uh, see here that they are growing on uh, uh, birch. And actually, it's also mentioned here, Iceman uh, uh, fungus. Uh, 
so you know this uh, man that was found in the ice in uh, in, uh, in in the Alps uh, uh, about uh, five th that died five thousand years ago. He was found about uh, ten uh, uh, ten years twenty years ago. Along with him, they found this type of uh, 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 mushroom or fungus. Actually, uh, this is the same as you see here, oh, looking like that. So here is the same as you see on the on the picture. Partly living, and here you see when I detached it, and now it looks like this inside. <coughs> Sorry. So what is important, if I, I do it, I have to do it a little bit away from, I can tear it af apart. And inside here, you see this material. When this is uh, dried and kept a little bit dry, this is just like gunpowder. This is very, very quickly and very nicely burning. So therefore, this uh, mushroom was used uh, to uh, be uh, collecting uh, or to make uh, fire. So uh, it's also named uh, uh, hoof uh, from hoof. So it looks like a hoof on a on a horse, partly. Uh, and this is uh, an old cultural plant that has been used uh, very very long. So mushrooms uh, has not only been uh, known to make food, but also to make other type of products. This uh, uh, type of uh, fungi that you see here is uh, uh, known as a uh, 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 razor strop, uh, birch back, uh, uh, polypore, a lot of different names. And if you look here, this one is on a birch as well. And if it, I take it off, and then you can see inside it, it's very, very sticky. But uh, this is a, a very important uh, uh, mushroom that has been used uh, to keep uh, knives and such. So this is also called a knife uh, uh, mushroom. So when you put your knife or your needles or such things inside, then, then the things is not rusting. So inside here, there is some strange, interesting thing that is making iron not become rusty. So therefore, the name Razor, because uh, it is uh, the place that you put your razor to keep it sharp and not rusting. Okay, you know that you knew this. Then we have uh, parasitic uh, mushrooms, uh, different types. Uh, so uh, the different um, uh, parasitic mushrooms uh, can be uh, 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 living in different species. These uh, mushrooms uh, live for uh, different uh, specializing on different trees or different plants, and there's a lot of them. Uh, most of the fungi will uh, will uh, kill the host in some years. Some kill within one year, and some kill within a few years. And uh, the the difference between these parasitic mushrooms and the saprophytic uh, mushroom is not so clear. Some of the Parasitic uh, mushroom will also continue to kill the tree and eat the tree after the tree have been dying. So they can be both uh, parasitic and saprophytic. If you look here, you see this like black there. That is actually one such parasitic mushroom. This mushroom is named uh, Shaga, and it's black as well because it contains melanin. So you see here, you see a little bit of this uh, Shaga, and Shaga is a mushroom that is known from all places, both in uh, uh, in uh, in uh, in America and Asia and Europe. And this is how the the Shaga is looking in in practice. When you keep it in, the, in your fingers, this is uh, uh, what we call the cancer medicine uh, uh, mushroom. So here, this looks very black, and when I'm, I have to divide it, 
it makes like this so you can now it's wet but you can grain it and then you get it like small grains like uh, coffee so it has been used as a tea chaga tea or as if you roast it a little bit uh, then it tastes much more like a coffee so you can make actually the old variant of coffee before coffee became, came to Europe uh, from America then they used uh, this shaga as one of the type of uh, coffee. This plant is uh, spreading the spores and the, the re, uh, re in spring, early spring. And one of the reasons why it's black, can you think of? When it's black, it absorbs energy from the sun getting quickly warm. And that makes it able to spread the spores early in the spring. That's nice, isn't it? The, the, the spores is entering the tree where there is a small, uh, uh, what you call a crack or a branch has been uh, breaking off. Then they enter the tree. The crack can be from the frost. So in the frost in the winter, the tree is cracking and opening. And then the, in the spring, the sap is uh, raining. And then the spores from this one is going into the tree and infecting the tree. Then we have a very big group of uh, uh, mushrooms, which is uh, very uh, important, uh, which is the ones meco making mucoriza. Uh, this uh, mushroom is uh, uh, a fascinating uh, group that has a relation with the trees in different ways. It's not only one way of mucoriza, but it's actually a lot of different variants. So they make a union where the root of the uh, of the plants is either entangled with the with the mycel around it, and then uh, or it can be like the the fungus mycel and hypha is going into the cells in, in between the cells in the root of the tree or the plant. So this is named uh, endomycorrhiza or ectomycorrhiza. So here, yeah, this uh, Lactarius is one of the group which is uh, such mucoriza plants. The, the thing about this is that uh, this mucoriza, uh, the, the mushroom, is able to absorb minerals very much more effective than uh, uh, the plants and trees and such. But also, they absorb other things from the decaying uh, material, organic material, and that can be trans uh, changed and then also transformed uh, into molecules that the trees can absorb. So uh, changing so, uh, some of the nutrients in the soil so the tree can or the plants can use them. In return, the fung uh, mushrooms is getting uh, uh, the, uh, the sugars from the tree because uh, uh, the fungus is not uh, having photosynthesis, so they cannot produce uh, sugar that way. But one of the uh, uh, in very interesting thing as well with these uh, uh, mushrooms is uh, that they produce different type of fat. And this type of fat is actually very important uh, because of the transportation of the different type of ions. ions different metal components. So here you see a cantarelle, that's another type of a, uh, of a, of a mushroom that is a mycorrhiza uh, working. Uh, in uh, northern uh, places in the Arctic where, and up here, this uh, mushroom is working together with uh, the birch. In other places, they work basically with the pine trees or the uh, spruce, but there are some exceptions. And if you look uh, cl uh, closely, you see there are these northern ones is uh, much less uh, uh, or much different shaped compared to the Central European uh, cantarelles, because they have a different type of uh, of, uh, of uh, of uh, of uh, condition to grow and different mycorrhiza. These uh, cantarels you see here, this track uh, trail that I've been walking for more than 20 years, suddenly one year, two years ago, 
there was this con a lot of cantarelles. Otherwise, there is, I have never been seen cantarelles there. So actually, just like some of these mushrooms can live like mycel down in the uh, soil for many, many, many years. Not only a few years, but for uh, several decades, actually, and hundreds of years. Like this uh, honey mushroom that we spoke about that was more than 2,400 years. So here's the different species. And some of the species not only make mycorrhiza not only with the trees, but also with the berries and other plants. So this is a very important aspect. How the production is going on with the blueberries, for example, is also uh, affected by the mycorrhiza. Not at all places, but a lot of places. So here you see this uh, uh, beard uh, lactarius. It's a nice plant, a nice mushroom that is edible. Another honey mushroom type. And then we have the boletus, uh, bolete, which is uh, suddenly popping up. One of the, pro the problem for this mushroom is that uh, they, uh, like we said, they are uh, absorbing metals. Some of the metals may be pollution metals, and some of the metals may be even be radioactive components. That can be stored long time in the mycel in the ground, and then suddenly it comes up with all the, uh, with all the nice uh, mushroom hats, the thallus, from the thallus. This uh, boleto, this is a populus uh, boletus, the other was a brown boletus. Then we have the endophytes. Endophytes are the in, uh, invasive, uh, invading hosts, uh, in, are invading the hosts, uh, but they are different from the parasitic. So the, the host plant still remain healthy and actually can benefit from the nutrition that the, the, the different uh, small mushroom is uh, 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 doing. So mushrooms is uh, made basically by water, and then uh, some carbohydrates, some proteins, and a little bit of fat, like I said. But this is very, very important. And uh, also for uh, uh, different, uh, different uh, animals that is eating the, the mushrooms. And it contains uh, some calories, and it uh, has a uh, rich of different uh, B vitamins and riboflavins and uh, such other different uh, essentials. But they have little C vitamin and uh, much not uh, sodium. But they are an uh, in important part for nutrition. So like this uh, here, uh, this is the boletus of uh, the, the populus, which is then uh, quite nice meat to eat. The, the gills here, or the pores here, this is pores, uh, is not eatable. But this is a very fresh one that is only one night, a little bit more than one day old, more than 24 hours. So it's growing very quickly. It's not only humans which is eating the mushrooms. A lot of other in, uh, animals, here's mice been eating. Here has other insects, uh, beetles have been eating the mushroom, so it died. And here it looks quite fine, nice, but you see there is some extra holes in the, among the pores. And inside this looks like uh, such, after a couple of days, a lot of insects is specializing much of the uh, life history to eat mushrooms and to nutrient on the mushroom. Now, not all insects need the mushroom, but some insect is very happy when the mushroom is coming in big numbers, so they can utilize the resource, and especially the fat and the proteins. <clears throat> here you see a tree, of course, and here you see some uh, strange thing, just a mushroom. Yes, it is a mushroom that has been placed there by a bird. And other mushrooms is also eating the mushrooms, or fungi is eating the mushrooms. 
and uh, also the different uh, species of mushroom is uh, uh, used for different uh, aspects, not only for food. Some has been uh, eating uh, mushroom for uh, fun. Uh, some has eaten mushroom to be uh, toxicated and, uh, and different things. And also mushroom has been used as uh, poison uh, uh, to kill both humans and animals especially the big predators like wolf and bears and such by using different type of mushroom to mix it into the meat. But also the, the mushroom uh, has been used uh, uh, for different uh, other things uh, like this ink uh, mushroom has been used to, uh, to produce uh, substrates, uh, so, uh, things that you can use in the culture to make uh, tanning, and uh, uh, making colors. So the fungi contain a lot of uh, colors, and the spores is uh, having different type of uh, of uh, uh, colors. So one of the way to to see the uh, the colors uh, of the spores give an indication of the type of uh, fungi. So spores has been used uh, to uh, identify the, the the fungi. So here is the uh, smoke uh, mushroom. So when I push it, I you see maybe see the see the spores coming. A lot of spores. So this makes uh, like such. You see my hand there with the spores. So you can make the collection of the spores. So here uh, under this you can also collect uh, different type of. Uh, of, uh, of uh, spores and uh, looking them into microscopes, that is a fantastic little thing. I hope it was a little bit of inspiration for you. I did not mention all the different type of uh, mushrooms and such, because that is uh, way too many, and there is a big variety between the different areas of Europe. But this is a little bit of the, the, the what you could say, the, the, the common thing. And maybe I've told something that you did not know from earlier.